this is the last <laughs> thing we'll go ahead and get into and we don't have to spend too much time on it but i want to get your opinion on it for sure because i do think it's interesting uh and it's this uh, chinese travel advisory uh and i'm gonna go ahead and pull that up for us so we can reread it because um i read it earlier and this was just uh like i said the chinese government saying if you're a chinese citizen and you're visiting america uh expect that you could be in some unexpected situations and that's that's almost verbatim it's something along those lines um and yeah I, i'm just chinese curious propaganda i'm curious what uh i wonder if this is a situation where it's so this is the the conspiracy theory that's scary. Is like, does this mean that the Chinese government knows that them or some of their allies are about to do something that's going to put a preemptive? Yeah, that's going to put America and uh, make America a little bit more dangerous again. Um, and uh, uh, or is this a situation where they just see the bullshit going on in America and they're like, hey guys, warning our citizens, you know don't there's a lot of crime uh going on in america i don't know i mean are people still on the whole like COVID thing with like i i, I don't That's know where like, like there's any hate again this would be my ignorance we don't have a big chinese population here i mean venice has a bigger one than than in like florida but we don't have it here i've never seen anyone like like do anything to like again this is gonna sound fucked up with like a chinese restaurant like i you know they're popping so yeah. like like I, I I don't know I don't know where where it all come from. Let me tell you something. This is kind of interesting. I I didn't expect to see this. So there's actually a China travel advisory for Americans. So we have one too. Oh, don't uh, go there. Yeah. So and, and I knew that we did this, but I didn't know we had this with China right now. So this says reconsider travel to mainland China due to the arbitrary enforcement of local laws, including in relation to exit bans and the risk of wrongful detention. Uh, exercise increased <laughs> caution when traveling to the Hong Kong uh, SAR due to the arbitrary enforcement of local laws. Uh, reconsider travel to the M M Macau SAR due to limited ability to provide emergency uh, consular <laughs> services. <laughs> uh, ex uh, exercise increased caution when traveling to Macau due to the arbitrary enforcement of local laws. Um, very interesting. Level three. Oh, it's interesting because they have they also have levels on each of these. Yeah. So like a level three reconsider for mainland mainland China, a level two for Hong Kong, and a level three for Macau. Um, mm -hmm. So level two just just uh, exercise like <laughs> more caution. I think that one did have less on it. Like yeah. So this just says arbitrary enforcement of local laws for Hong Kong, but the other ones have that. And then they have something else. So Macau has the limited uh, ability to provide emergency services. And then uh, uh, the mainland China, it has the arbitrary enforcement of laws. And then it also says, including the relation to exit bans and the risk of wrongful detention. Which and, and exit bans. So they're saying that like, they're going to ban an American people from leaving. leaving. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I don't actually, I don't find that too crazy. I, I honestly think if, uh, if the vote goes a certain way that, that we're going to get that here. That, that yeah. we're going to get an exit, you can't leave, can't come in, can't leave, everything's shut down completely. Um, but it's it just, I don't know, it's always sketchy, obviously. Why, like the, I mean, that's Russia. I, but again, in my opinion, there's countries that you can travel to and just be you. And then there's countries you travel to where I think it's pretty wild that people do, like Dubai, yeah. Cairo. Um, well, I mean, like, obviously Egypt for the country, but uh, <laughs> city specific. Um, yeah. when you're looking at, you know, anywhere really in the Middle East, when people are, you can't kiss, hold hands, do certain things in public that we do in America, in America, and you're going with your wife to Dubai or Abu Dhabi, sure. and then it's like, I mean, my cousin did it, and it's like her and her husband wanted to take a picture and kiss, and they did, and then someone came up. I think honestly, this was Kai. Yeah, no, this was Dubai, and they were like, hey, don't, don't do that. Like you can't we're, do that, but they felt more uncomfortable in Cairo and they had more like, like people like making sure they were okay there than they did Dubai. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, but it's like, yeah, if you're someone who likes to drink, you obviously, you got countries you can't, you go to, you can't Russia. Why would you go? Yeah. yeah I mean, you see American journalists, American tourists get in prison, China, you yeah. expect this kind of, I guess the same I, thing. So it's like, yeah, I why? Think they, being mindful of cultural differences wherever you travel is and being mindful that they're there. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that sometimes because of um, 
you know, empath being very empathetic and wanting to understand just people. I mean, me and you get into this all the time where it's like, you know, people are people and stuff like that. You do have to understand that there is a difference mm -hmm. and we are people and those things are still true, but with the education that they receive is different as a Chinese education. And I mean that from just a state Ethics, programming state yeah. standpoint. Yeah. It's, it's different. Um, and yeah. So when you expect in the same thing goes here, there's things that you could do in India, for example, shit in the street uh so the things Jeez. you can do in india uh, <laughs> you can do that here in some places in some places if nobody catches you but come on you're gonna get your ass kicked <laughs> yeah, by just that. yeah <laughs> just regular people are gonna yeah. kick your ass if they see that it's just not so, acceptable behavior from us um but there's other shit that vice versa like you said we go to fucking dubai and we hold hands and it's fucking you know too much yeah not that's too much display yeah. so one of my so it's like how many people really are going? Like, why? Why would you? I guess there's interesting things to see in China, right? I oh mean, yeah, yeah. So it's one of the oldest civilizations. But it's like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I anywhere where they're kind of an adversary of the United States, I would it's assume that like you wouldn't want to go. Yeah. You know, I mean, just like again, you have people here that when they see somebody who's not from here, they get a lot. They get height like their alarms are heightened or whatever the yeah. cautions up. So it's like, yeah, they're gonna do the same. I don't know. Just kind of keep it, keep, keep, keep it in the safe countries and move on. <laughs> let, let me read a little bit of this um, uh, summary. And then I want to get into uh, the current one that China has put on America. And then we'll wrap this guy up. So the summary here is the P this is, this has to do with America's, uh, Tra travel advisory for China, so not vice versa. Uh, the People's Republic of China (PRC) government arbitrarily enforces local laws, including issuing exit bans on U.S. citizens and citizens of other countries, without fair and transparent process under the law. The Department of State has determined the risk of wrongful detention of U.S. nationals uh, by the PRC government exists in the PRC. Uh, U.S. citizens traveling or residing in the PRC may be detained without access to U.S. Cons uh, Oh, if this word sucks, consular services uh, or information about their alleged crime. So that's interesting. So that gives more. Yeah. Uh, so you, then that's just getting arrested and you can't speak. Nobody. You can't speak to the people like rep representatives for the United States. U.S. They're going to tell you what you did wrong. Yeah, U.S. citizens in the PRC may be subjected to interrogations and detention without fair and transparent treatment under the law. Foreigners in the in the PRC, including but not limited to limited limited to business people uh former foreign government personnel academics relatives of prc citizens involved in legal disputes oh boy. and journalists <laughs> so, have been interrogated and detained by prc officials for alleged uh, violations of prc national security laws the prc has also interrogated and detained and expe expelled U.S. citizens living and working in the PRC. PRC authorities appear to have broad discretion to deem a wide range of documents, data, statistics, or materials as state secrets and to detain and prosecute foreign nationals for alleged espionage. Uh, okay. There's increased official scrutiny of U.S. and third country firms uh, such as professional service and due diligence companies operating in, in the PRC. Security personnel could detain U.S. citizens and subject them to prosecution for conducting research or accessing publicly available material inside the PRC. Uh, security personnel uh, could detain and OK, so for sending OK, U.S. citizen for sending private electronic messages critical of the PRC, Hong Kong or Macau. Uh, in addition, the PRC government has used restrictions on travel and departure from PRC or so-called bans to compel individuals to participate in the PRC government investigations, uh, pressure family, uh, family members of the restricted individual to return to the PRC from abroad, resolve civil disputes in favor of PRC citizens, and gain uh, bargaining leverage over foreign governments. Um, might only become aware of an exit ban. Uh, U.S. citizens might only become aware of an exit ban when they attempt to depart oh from PRC. Uh, there may be no available legal process to contest an exit ban in a court of law. Relatives, including minor children of those under investigation, the PRC may become subject to an exit ban. Um, PRC government does not recognize dual nationality. Dual U.S. PRC citizens and U.S. citizens. So do not fucking go there. <laughs> of Chinese <laughs> descent Jesus may Christ. be subject to additional scrutiny and har harassment. 
If you are a U.S. citizen and cho- choose to enter mainland China on travel documents other than a U.S. passport and, and are detained or arrested, the PRC may not notify the U.S. Embassy or the U.S. Consulate General or allow consular access. So how many Americans do you think are jailed right now in China without like anyone knowing? Yeah. Uh, Bro, because like like what's crazy is, so, so you want to go to China, you go to China, right? Mm-hmm. Boom. We don't hear from you. Yeah. Yo, like where's James? Right. So, like, so my like, dad. So, so then we had to contact someone at the U.S. Embassy here, right? Like, like we have to contact somebody, but like, hey, internationally, like we lost someone in China, and then yeah. and then they're going to contact, like, hey, do you know anything of this? And then yeah, it's China's embassy, and then it's hey, we don't have to tell you shit. And I guess that is how it could go. This or this will be the last thing I'll read here. So Xinjiang, uh, Uyghur Autonomous Region. This is oh, I've skipped a part. So this is uh, has to do with demonstrations. So people going over there participating in demonstrations or any other activities that authorities interpret as consulting an act of succession, subversion, terrorism, or con- okay. collusion with a foreign country could result in criminal charges. So be protest. aware of your surroundings and avoid avoid demonstrations. Don't protest. So Xinjiang, anything. Uyghur. Uh, autonomous region, Tibet autonomous region, and Tibetan autonomous uh, prefecture. So if you're pro t- Taiwan, <laughs> done. And, well, Tibet, and uh, and also yeah, and also the uh, Uyghur genocide that's happening over there with the Uyghur Muslims. Um, oh, the shit! See, that's something that yeah. I'm not too yeah, privy to. Uh, genocide as well. Yeah, genocide's been happening over there for a while. Um, there's a bunch of Muslims. China says the there's a lot you just don't know. You know, it's yeah. crazy. There's actually a ton of Buddhists that are fucking muslims up like killing them yeah what that's not <laughs> bullshit that's crazy i guess they do yeah. teach defense but not attack right i think it's probably just like radicalist people that took and perverted whatever teachings is always the case are they speaking because that mm. 